Here we are, White Brothers Music, Bath, Michigan, working on this bass, uh, 19th century German, most likely, or Czech Bohemian, flat back. We've got the back about ready to go. This was in pieces when we got it, we had to replace all the braces and the center cleats got the finish cleaned up should have a nice tone anyway that's about that'll be going right back on here it's a little bit sprung because of that highly curved maple it's hard to work with but you can see here the angle this was a particular tricky brace to put in because it's got to go from flat to about a 10 or 12 percent 12 degree angle we got it working good though and we're just finishing up the interior you can see this rib here we replaced that someone that had put a piece of plywood there has and we've got it to match the other curly maple you can see it's quite curly all over just like on the back matched and this rib here was severely cracked so we glued all the cracks put some reinforcement strips in there so I saved the original wood when possible we cleaned up the base bar which was one straight curve here no uh, taper so we tapered that down on the ends more uh, efficient and traditional. If you look closely you can still see some of the chisel marks in there and all across the back. When they make an integral base bar like that, this is one piece, all this at the back and the base bar, all one piece. You just removed all that wood. And uh, being on the top on the inside, it left it left it pretty rough. So we thinned it out here Flatten it out here where the sound post goes. That's a critical area. And uh, just about ready to finish scraping it. Makes little curly cues just like a plane. This is a rounded scraper so you, can, so you can match the curves. Somewhat flexible. Yeah, that's nice and nice and flat now. sound post it was too tight you can feel an indentation there so we want to make sure we get past that nice and, nice and flat you can see it was quite thick there so we want to get it down to thinner around the outside thicker in the middle so it vibrates like a little drum head Some of the finish dripped in. It doesn't really 
really hurt anything. If it's too thick of a chunk there, I could affect the vibration. As you can see, it's a tedious process. And we have it supported by these cardboard boxes so it doesn't bend the neck. And the fingerboard's still on there. Here's the tools we were using earlier the finger plane with the uh, excess wood makes these big curls. And rounded chisel, get along here. And a knife. Make sure it's nice and tight core in there. Yeah, you can see the, the gouges here and there. And down here, they weren't too careful about that because you can't see that from the outside once the base is all together. So we'll finish scraping this down, seal it up, and put the back back on, and we'll let you know how it comes out. <laughs> 